downtown is a vibe. It's a cool one. You just got to know what you're getting. Oh, you see wow. Malcolm, right? I got Malcolm views from that, the building views. right over there. So we're here at the Davies Pacific Center. A bit of context about our opening situation here today. Before we get in, get the presentation, look at the stage, you know, unit model. As we were scheduling this, Mahe's got a ton of clients, really busy. I was like, hey, just do work. I can handle this. She's like, no, I have too much FOMO. I was I really like, no way. I really want to see Modeo. So. My guy Aiden, shoot, I booked the showing. I said, can you move the showing? He's like, I really want to go. Why do you want to go to this? It's a new development. Well, Aiden had FOMO too. So we're going to cure the FOMO for yeah. all of you guys. I want everybody to see. Because it's not like every day something new and like a new development happens in old downtown Honolulu where things are like, they've been here forever. It's really not possible. It's a certain thing in the daytime yes. and it's something else in the evening. Yeah, and sometimes it's also the other thing in the daytime. I lived in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area for over a decade. The financial district of San Francisco is this. Look, everyone's walking around professional look. Now Business. professional look around here is more like this. Occasionally an attorney in a suit. Yeah. I'm sure that guy does insurance sales. Banks, attorney's offices, Banks. court. Whatever city you're from, I prop you down on this street corner. You're like, oh, I think I know it. You're like, yeah, I'm familiar with that. Like that Starbucks may not be open until 8 p.m. Yeah. There's no one or the characters at 8 p.m. might not be the ones. Yeah. My truck is still stock. Mid-sized truck. Oh, yeah. I wasn't sure I was going to fit in the parking garage. Yeah. This guy, right after this opening segment, we're going to go to his truck that he had to street park, and we're going to have to move it to other long-term parking because yeah. not only could he fit in the garage, but he only found a one hour parking. It's something we already talked to our clients about. What kind of car do you have? Do you need to street park? Is there street parking overnight? This is the type of area where if you have a lifted truck, no. If you have even like a normal truck that has bigger tires, no. It's 6-1 clearance for this building. Yeah. And we were just barely making it. Yeah. But in any city where you see this thing I'm about to show you, you know that's not a place that's known for its parking. <laughs> so these things, Oh, yeah. These are... Uh, Vicky bikes. These are things you might see someone with a briefcase. Like, yeah. I have an appointment for a, a merger and acquisition five blocks that way. Chinatown, downtown, Kaka'ako, Ward, Alamoana. Back to the task at hand, Modea. Modea is a rejuvenation, uh, renovation, repurposing mm -hmm. of part of the Davies Pacific Center. I'm excited because you can get that Kaka'ako yeah, the vibe. So where we are here, if you keep going this way along this line here, those homes are expensive, those condos are expensive because they front more of a usable ocean. We over here yeah. are fronting like Aloha Tower. So there's not really like a view of a nice ocean right here yeah. or a usable beach park or a usable beach to go hang out at. And that makes the difference when we're talking about property value. That's a good point. If you're interested in anything, Hawaii real estate, or even have a mainland real estate need that you need a referral for, go to coreteamhawaii.com, go to the very bottom of the page, fill out the contact information, and my assistant will reach out, or I will reach out as soon as possible. I like this little like low rise situation right here. That's nice, that's fortunate. Yeah, yeah, and I that seems like a building that's not gonna go I mean, look at the, the so. tiles on, this yeah, year, yeah. on the roof, like. This is an I staying here building. So this is what you, like a corner unit would have, right? Well, so do you know what that is across? Uh, that's the Coast Guard base. Yep. I think that's a Coast Guard boat doing uh, operations. Doing donuts with, inside They're doing. The harbor. <laughs> they're doing a drill, I think, with a sheriff boat. Are you going to talk about how it's reflective? It's reflective. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if it's going to be yeah. in your way, yeah. a little reflection of Kind of Malka, like, you, mean, you oh, can see wow. Malka, right? I got Malka views you from that, Malka the building right over there. Yeah, 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 I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> Sand Island Beach might be the closest beach on a map. Yeah. But certainly not the closest beach to get to because you'd have to go down Nimitz yeah. for five, eight minutes, go down Sand Island Road mm -hmm. for another five minutes. It would take 15 minutes just to get to that beach. I'm just going to Ala Moana. So if you got to go beach, you're going to go Ala Moana, yeah. which is... Coast. Arguably a nicer beach too. If you want to surf and go to a place where not as many people surf, yeah. you can go to Island. I feel like Sand Island is like a plate lunch beach. Just this way, just Makai of Modea. We talked about Aloha Tower, so we wanted to quickly show you guys that. This is the ocean or the water frontage 
from this part of downtown Honolulu. You could jog and be near water. You're near Honolulu water. Harbor. Yeah, harbor. There we go. Yeah, it's yeah. harbor frontage. So it's not really like beach or anything over here, yeah. uh, which is why downtown Honolulu is not known for having like views of ocean here. You can see Honolulu Harbor and we definitely have clients who love looking at Honolulu Harbor and see who's coming in. It's a great view. Yeah. These buildings that have, you know, harbor fronting views, it's great. We yeah. talk about as Kailua affects the culture and the vibe of Kailua. Yeah. The Kailua Beach does. Yeah. Hawaii Kai and the marina vibe of Hawaii Kai affects the, you know, yeah. the vibe of Hawaii Kai. Ward being really bougie and also right there with Alamanda Beach Park yeah. is a certain thing. Yeah. This gives, does it give anything? It's just industrial. Like it just, I mean, it's but, this, all the business comes in here but through. But not Kalihi industrial. No, not Kalihi industrial. This feels like, um, like peer industrial, like young brothers industrial, like, you know, like harbor peer vibes, not like just full on business, that yeah. type. But this is like in the old days, this is where all the barges and all the boats and everything came in. That had a different energy to it too. Good point. If you're local, you might think about our dads who used to jump into the water over here, the older cruise ship terminals and dive for coins. Tourists would throw money yeah. in the, their wading water, throw coins. Obviously you can't do that anymore for all kinds of reasons. <laughs> but if you're not from here, I don't know that this gives that much. That is dominated more by the financial district professional yeah. vibes. So yeah. let's go back in there because our presentation starts to. That was, I believe, 80% optimistic, curious, excited to go in. Yeah. How have you changed or not changed after the presentation, seeing the vision, mm -hmm. getting to see the sales gallery? I always will have like a level of skepticism of just like, okay, but I know what I know and I know what I know about where I, what I've seen in that area. That level of like, okay, what, how's it gonna look and how's it gonna feel like 2025 when it's actually built? But I see the vision, I see, more of like the backdrop, the behind the scenes of like the type of development it is, the vision they have for the revitalization. Let's, let's just list positives about the units. Yeah. High ceilings, 10 foot, four inch ceilings for the majority of most units. There are some spots where it lowers to eight foot six, mm -hmm. but those spots tend to be like perimeter above your kitchen counter. Yeah. These high end cabinets that Italian come from Italy. Italian cabinets, yeah. Colder fixtures throughout. Nice GE appliances. Mm -hmm. These specialty dishwashers. Mm -hmm. A lot of light, a lot of natural lighting, some great views. Yeah. Uh, that partially city obstructed, but harbor ocean views. Yeah. Most importantly, they come with parking. The two bedrooms they said will have two parking. Yeah, one bedroom. One bedroom and studios. Just have one. Yeah. That is a challenge. There's another building helped a client buy and then had a difficult time trying to sell because they had a two bedroom with one parking. Yeah. I'm surprised you're not bringing up the karaoke room. Oh, I forgot about it. Yeah. I feel like they didn't talk about it enough. <laughs> yeah. Pet friendly, two pets, no weight or breed restrictions, yeah. which is not normal. So that's rare and special and they made it a point to feature that a few times. Multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. And a dog run on the sixth floor. The gym is going to be 3,000 square foot. At first I was like, Feels like the building may be a little less social than some buildings could be. But then after seeing the renderings and understanding how it's gonna be, yeah. I don't feel that way. The second yeah, yeah. floor looks like it's gonna be really cool with the, the types of amenities they have. The way the building is now, there's an elevator that comes up. Yeah. They're closing that whole thing up. The middle space is gonna be like a co-work space for me as a real estate agent. Those like little pods that you can yeah, make yeah. phone calls in and be yeah, loud yeah. and not be like that irritating person on their phone. Like yep. that's really cool. This is the middle of the finance district. This is where tons of attorneys are here also. So People are gonna be working. When they were talking about it in the presentation, I was impressed by and thought it was cool that the developer they want to actually wait until they're like have some contracts in like to have some people reserved units so that they can Get ask opinions. them to give opinions on what kind of commercial and dining they want to see downstairs. They will have total replacement insurance. So if you watch this channel, we've highlighted those things. There are condos in Hawaii that do not have that total replacement insurance and that's becoming an issue for lending. Mm -hmm. That will not be an issue here. I will say because of that, the maintenance fee is currently unknown in terms yeah. of cost per square foot. Whatever that insurance cost ends up being, it'll affect that. So TPD, mm -hmm. uh, their goal is to keep it under a dollar per square foot for maintenance fee. It's an older building, but they're like repiping everything. They're redoing all the electrical and plumbing. Yeah. So the things that you worry about when you're yeah. purchasing in a building of this age, they're just like kind of a non-issue here. They already have the existing sprinkler system, so we're not worried about that. It's an older building from 1970. Broke around 70, yeah. 72, you could inhabit it. Some people are like, when I buy a condo building, I don't want brand new because yeah. sometimes brand new 
They tried to use these materials that didn't work out. If there's any saddling, etc. So some people want brand new. The people that want brand new, I don't think they necessarily want it uh, because they're so confident in the history of the infrastructure because yeah. obviously they can't be. Yeah. They want it because they just want brand, brand new. Yeah. So you can get both if I this. were on the Modea sales team, yeah. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would point out that you could get the best of both worlds. Yeah. A proven building that is entirely revitalized, yeah. adaptively reused, yeah. and is solid. Some of these buildings, when you enter, just the, the street entrance is like, wow, that's not going to be a thing here. Also, if you're in more of a raw downtown district than a bougie shopping district, that's probably a positive. Yeah. Because it seems that the entrances to this are going to be private. Yeah. And if you see someone in the building, you're not going to have a concern that they just found their way into the building. The access points seemed all positive to me. The rail is supposed to have a stop one block yeah, away. Yeah, one block from here. No, my confidence level in the rail finishing and when, <laughs> I have no comment, but assuming the rail makes it here and has a stop there, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. You better go airport, right? Very quickly. The background that even the developer herself has, yeah. she's, you know, a local girl yeah. from here, grad Kalani High School, went to HPU. Went through the real estate ranks. Yeah, she's like a hitter a, in Hawaii. Just the pigeon word of the day. Hammer. Hama. She's, She's a, a hammer. hammer. With the way that HPU is developing and then the way they're centric to that and they're developing, how it could potentially really kind of change this whole block right around here and the energy that's in it. And that includes like the eateries, the, the walkability, the this new development here, which is not new development. They're adaptive reuse. Adaptive reuse. So, so like, I don't think this place like needs revitalization. I don't think so either. But but we're a city like any other city, Honolulu proper, but also not. Mm -hmm. And so when we think of town as local people, yeah. a lot of times we're thinking of Ala Moana, this grand outdoor shopping center that's in her own tourism. We think of Waikiki, which is obviously a tourist hub. And that affects the most of town for mm -hmm. us, Honolulu. Not a lot of people have a ton of experience here unless they worked here. Yeah. Rare to find someone who's lived here and like can't grew up here. Yeah. I don't think it needs a ton of revitalization. I think it's fine the way it is, but I think it's gonna get better. Did the sales presentation affect that opinion for me? Yeah, to some degree. I'm aware of all these eateries and nightlife things individually. Mm -hmm. The Lay Stand, the Harry Potter Pub, Big and the Jay Dolan's, that other pizza place they mentioned high place james beard awards i didn't really know yeah. what that was when they presented and put it all in a bundle i'm like oh yeah it's pretty damn cool down here yeah and we even acknowledged that on our other uh video which we'll link in the description if you've spent time in I've, I've never been to chicago but new york or san francisco this is a key part of that overall thing it's just that in Hawaii, for us Hawaii people, you don't think of a residential experience here. Yeah. And now that's gonna be an option. Co-working and eating yeah. with uh, the other attorneys that live in the building and, the, and having that kind of professional residential commercial life here yeah. is now gonna be a possibility where it used to just be a place to go and leave. I'm excited, I like it. Our current understanding of pricing is that many units will start in the 700s. Mm -hmm. Certain units, We'll start in the 600s. Mm -hmm. So we can look at that right now, right? Makai facing, so ocean fronting that way. And notice that building is short. So most of these units They'll are have gonna have view. ocean views. Yeah. All the way to the Eva side of the building, call it the west side, call it the bishops, or whatever you wanna call it. This side and that side, starting in the 700s. So a majority of the 352 units? Yeah, 352. I think something like 301 or something were one bedroom. 300 plus or 300 one bedroom plus, units. Yeah. One three bedroom, five two bedrooms, mm -hmm. and then still very few studios. So mm -hmm. three over 300 of 352 one bedrooms. Yeah. 700s ish. Also subject to change. Yeah. On this side, because you're city facing, not as many views, you have the first Hawaiian building right here, starting in the 600s. But to get that right above Whole Foods, mm -hmm. significantly more. Yeah, like we helped a client buy like a 900,000 plus 500,000, uh, 500 square foot one bedroom in Ward Village. In Ward mm -hmm. Village. So my goal is to one day have the like suburb to country home with a unit in town I was that I that. get to you. Mm -hmm. At some point in a wealth journey, I could buy anything, right? But 
more probable, more feasible, more within my near future, if I could have another thing, it would be something uh, like this. Uh, this might yeah. be the best. Yeah. And you know what? The renderings for even the side that is like the less favorable side. Man, yeah. there's something really nice about like Honolulu city lights at nighttime. I was like, oh, that's pretty major too, actually. Also, let's just do the math. $700,000 for a 500 square foot one bedroom. Add on $15 Uber mm -hmm. to go to all the places that we're talking about. Or $1 million for the same. I'm going to go $700,000 and get an Uber. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm gonna tip them more than twenty. Like I'm same there. type of people too, actually. What's up? Yeah. Look, ah, so you wanna be in a video? You watch our YouTube? This is Jack from Kailua. He just noticed us on the street. What's up? You commented on our videos. You're watching. Yeah. You what do you do down here? I work at Banco. Oh, you work at Banco. Yeah, right here. One of your people just came up to us and kind of like, you can't film here. Really? But <laughs> hey, I don't speak for Banco. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Long Beach, Mississippi. But I moved from Houston, Texas. Long Beach, Mississippi. Long Beach. Have you ever lived in like a city, city? Or? Yeah, yeah, we lived in Houston, Texas before we moved here. We weren't like downtown though, but we were just outside the city. How do you feel about like this specific few blocks of downtown? Uh, if you venture over to Chinatown a little bit, it can get kind of sketchy and Fort Street too. But I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's good. I don't know if there's any close grocery stores nearby that way. Because if you live in town, you don't want to have a car. You can just walk places. What you could get here for 700000 if you go down to Kakako Ward, you're probably like a million. If that's financed, that's 1500 to 1800 less a month. I'm Ubering to Whole Foods. Like, who cares? I'm paying 1500 less per month. Yeah, if you're saving that kind of money, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I would mind it. So you do this? Yeah, the, yeah for sure. I think that's just the most obvious. Yeah. If you live and work down here, yeah. there's nothing better than yeah. that. Let's keep it real. Like there are multiple, most majority of these units are one bedroom. So it's maybe not a growing family. You know, it's maybe not somebody who has kids or a, a couple kids. It, you're maybe you're getting us something for your daughter who goes to college over here. HPU parents who want an investment. With that being said, when you're buying I.O. or Ali or something, how many units in that building? A lot more than 352. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, someone called us to talk about listing a unit recently, and he's like, oh, I want to sell for X. And I'm like, well, the, the ones that are up here on, with this view sell for that. Yeah. Currently, there are ones listed for that that aren't selling. How could we justify your eighth floor? Yeah. Like there's no justification for your price opinion. Yeah. Just being honest. When I look at exits and I look at the competition to exit, there's a sweet spot. Yeah. I don't necessarily want a 20 unit building because mm -hmm. then when there's like a thing to fix, it's <laughs> going to affect me a ton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then a thousand unit building, my unit is nothing special. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that this is kind of the only thing right here yeah. and there's only 300 something units, it may or may not be that nice sweet spot when I'm looking at investing in exits. Yeah. So if finances stay healthy, capital expenditures, long-term big expenses stay within reason or stay away. If finances stay in order, I kind of like the play. I was thinking of that during the presentation mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Especially if I get like an ocean view or one of the units that has more of the favorable floor plan. There was a specific unit that was my favorite that built that that we yeah. looked at, you, know, you get more for less. That's the one that had this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm hundred percent buying that. That's the I'm gonna leave that so you reach out to us. So you go in our description, go to coreteamhawaii.com, go to the bottom of the page, fill out the form. Either someone from the team or my assistant will reach out to you as soon as we can. If I get it, yeah. if I go in there, I'm buying that one. I think it's the best living play mm -hmm. for the majority of what's gonna be available. I think it's the best long-term investment. I think it's the best exit. Yeah. That's the one I'm buying. Yeah.